Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. It's Five Ways Wednesday and here today I'm gonna do something a little bit unconventional for this segment on my channel. Usually what I like to do on Five Ways Wednesday is pick one diaper bag and pack it up five different ways so that you can see how versatile or not versatile that bag is. But I've had a lot of requests to compare five different diaper bag backpacks along a whole bunch of different features like packability, comfort, bottle pockets, and more. So I thought today that I would go ahead and do that for you since it is so highly requested and since, to be honest, I could use a break from packing up one bag five different ways and cleaning up after it. So I have pulled the top five best-selling bags from thesensiblemama.com. These are the bags that are always flying off the shelf with us that we just cannot keep in stock. So I thought these would be the best five to review and compare for you so that you can get a sense for which one of these bags might work best. So I think the best way to do this is to pick one feature at a time and then talk about how each bag stacks up according to that feature. And I think the best place to start first is the weight of each bag. So what I have here is a five pound scale. We're gonna put each one of these bags on the scale and see exactly how much it weighs. And I'm gonna start with the Itsy Ritzy Boss because I know due to the rubberized bottom, this right here, a lot of people worry about the weight of this bag. So all these bags are completely unpacked and we're just going to weigh them based on what they weigh empty. Okay, the Itsy Ritzy Boss comes in at 2.15 pounds, totally unpacked. The Jujube Forever backpack is another one that I get a lot of questions about, is it heavy? Due to the vegan leather. So we'll do that one next. And this one comes in at 2.41. So pretty similar to the Itsy Ritzy Boss. Here we have the 12 little on the go. And it's 1.15, which really surprises me here because this is a pretty big diaper bag. So to only be a little bit over a pound is pretty impressive. Next up is the Jujube Be Right Back. And this one is right at two pounds, slightly over. And here we have the 12 Little Companion. And it's at right at 1.1. So pretty similar to the 12 Little On The Go actually, which really surprises me given the difference in their size. And we'll get into this later, but just take a look at that. <laughs> so you're getting a lot of bag for not a lot of extra weight with the on the go, which is pretty nice. Now that we've gone over the weight of these bags, let's talk about the comfort of the backpack straps. Just to give you kind of a comparison of what kind of straps we're working with here, some of these bags have a soft padded backpack strap with an ergonomic shape like you see here on the Jujube Be Right Back. These have memory foam on the inside, which make them super comfortable. You then have some backpacks that are more like this. This is a vegan leather strap that has less of an ergonomic shape to it. It's much thicker. And I think that that's why they get away with having a little bit less padding. They've spread that strap out further so that the weight is distributed more across your shoulders and it's supposed to give less pain to the shoulders. Um, and then you have straps like this one on the Boss and these are a vegan leather strap, but still have that memory foam style of material on the inside for comfort. Now, when you compare these three just styles of backpack straps, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that this to me is the least comfortable. I do like my forever backpack, but I will say that these straps start to get uncomfortable on me. And I think it's less about the weight and it's more about the fact that this um, material here, if you're wearing a tank top or just a thinner shirt, it starts to touch your skin and the vegan leather can get a little hot in my opinion. Um, and because the straps are just so thick, there's kind of like a hot mass sitting on your shoulders. So I'm gonna say that this is my least favorite style. When it comes down to these two different styles of straps, I will say that I tend to prefer the Jujube style memory foam strap. These are made 100% of fabric, which means they're nice and cool and breathable. And although I find the 12 little boss backpack to be just as comfortable in terms of how it wears on the shoulders. I do feel that these can get a little sweaty on the body. I just feel like over time, you do start to feel a little bit more heat when you have a vegan leather strap compared to um, a cloth strap like this one. So when it comes down to these two, I would pick the Jujube Be Right Back in terms of comfort on the shoulders. As far as the two 12 little diaper bags, we have the companion backpack that has a skinnier strap that is not ergonomically shaped, at least not as much as the Jujube Be Right Back. It does have memory foam on the inside, so it's nice and comfortable. And a plus for this one is that you do have the fabric material, so it is nice and cool and breathable. Comparing that to the 12 little on the go, you do have straps that are very close together here at the top. 
I don't find this to be a problem, but I do think that some people might prefer the little bit of space that's here in the Jujube Be Right Back. It just separates these straps a little bit further so you don't have any pressure points here on the back of your neck. Again, this doesn't bother me on the 12 Little On The Go, but I do think if you're somebody who has really sensitive neck or shoulders, I don't know, this might be of concern for you. The other thing that I might point out about the 12 Little On The Go is although it is extremely comfortable, this material on the On The Go is just, I feel like this one can create a little bit of that sweaty feeling as well. It does not have any cloth um, mesh on the back side like the Jujube Be Right Back does, and I should have shown you this earlier. I don't know how well you can see, but this is a breathable mesh on the back of this bag. So if you're somebody who lives in California or Las Vegas or Florida, you might find that a bag like this with that breathable mesh on the back would be really nice. I want to say that all of these bags wear comfortably on me, but I do have to say that if you're the kind of person who has any kind of neck or shoulder troubles, you might find that the Jujube Be Right Back is going to be the most comfortable. Next, we're going to talk about bottle pockets, and for this experiment, I'm going to use a Swell bottle and a 10-ounce Avent bottle. I know that everybody has their own desired preferences of bottles and uh, water bottles here, but I don't have every kind known to man, so I'm gonna show you what I have, and then you can extrapolate from there about whether or not your preferred bottles will fit in these bags. One thing you do need to know about the Itsy Ritzy Boss is that there is only one external bottle pocket. You have one on this side, which I was just showing, and then over here you actually have an insulated snack pocket, and this is not a great place to try to put a bottle. You do have a bottle pocket on the inside as well, so I'll show you that in just a second. But just for the sake of our experiment, we're going to put in a swell bottle. Fits great. No problem getting it in or out. And here's my 10 ounce Avent. Goes in and out, no problem. On the inside of the bag, you have a drawstring right here that pulls out for you to put another bottle if you wish. And as you can see, my swell bottle fits in there just fine and so does the Avent. And what's kind of cool about this feature is that you can pull this drawstring tight so that you can have a drink in here and not worry about it spilling over, which for me is fantastic. I'm just gonna be honest, I have no love for the bottle pockets on this bag here. This is the Jujube Forever Backpack, and even when you do get your bottle in the pockets, A, you have this flap that sticks up, and what I do usually is I'll tuck it down behind my bottle because I can't stand it sticking up like that. Um, and B, it just doesn't fit very much. And I I've been meaning to ask them if this was actually meant to be a bottle pocket, but as you can see, I'm having to really work to get that bottle in there. And even when you do get that flap down, um, it's just un unsightly. It doesn't look pretty, it doesn't lay very flat. You can get your bottles in here, but you have to work a little bit to get them both in and out, and so that's not my favorite thing. And you really can't even use any of the internal structure of this bag for your bottles as well. So all around, I don't recommend this bag if you are very, very serious about getting to your bottles quickly. It's just, not, it's not gonna work that well for you. Here is the Jujube Be Right Back, which does have two bottle pockets, one on either side. And one of my favorite things about the Be Right Back is that bottles go in and out so easily. And these bottle pockets are the kind that are stretchy, which means that no matter really how full you have this bag packed up, you're still going to have lots of access to your bottle pockets because the bag doesn't like come into your space here, if you know what I mean. There were lots of concerns about the original 12 Little On The Go bag because the bottle pockets admittedly weren't great, but they have done a major revamp on these bottle pockets and look at how easily everything goes in and out. It's fantastic. Now, the one thing about this bag is that if you fill it really, really full, I'm talking all the way to the brim, it does get a little bit harder to get your bottles in and out. But for me, it's not bad enough for it to be a showstopper, especially since I don't typically, you will have a very hard time packing this bag really full. <laughs> it is a big bag. So it's not something that I think is a really big deal at all. Lastly, we have the 12 Little Companion. I do like the bottle pockets on this bag, but I'll admit that they can be a little hard to get things in and out of when the bag is fully packed. Right now this one is empty and as you can see things go in and out really easily. But I will say that because this bag is a little bit smaller than the 12 Little On The Go, it fills up a lot faster, it's easier to overpack it, and then it does get slightly harder to get your bottles in and out. One of the interesting things that you guys told me on Instagram that you want to know about is how do these bags stand up on their own. So I'm going to line them all up totally empty and let you see how they all stand when they're not packed. 
Now, even if I screw something up, I'm not going to edit this part of the video because I don't want anybody to think there was any trickery going on. So we're just gonna roll with it if I mess up. So here's the Itsy Ritzy Boss. As you can see, it sits up pretty well on its own. When it's empty, it is prone to sort of starting to slouch a little bit, and that's only because you've got these stroller clips up top, and you've just got some heavier stuff going on on the top of the bag. But I will say that once you have this totally packed up, it does not tip. And I think a lot of that has to do with the rubberized bottom here. You could throw a bowling ball at this bag and it's not going to tip over. So here again, here it is sitting on its side and I'm gonna give it a little nudge just to show you that it will start to do this when it's empty. Here's the Jujube Be Right Back. This bag stands up really great when it's empty. However, when it's packed up full, it will tend to be top heavy. And this is one of the problems that I've had with the Jujube Be Right Back is that you have to be kind of clever about how you pack it up because if it gets packed up too full, if you have tall things like a laptop in here, it's prone to tipping forward. But it does stand up really nice on its own when it's empty. and and. I'm gonna be honest, that's a nice thing. I can't stand it even when an empty bag is tipping over. I'm sure all of you remember the infamous tip forward of the original on-the-go diaper bag backpack. This one does not tip over at all. It does not tilt forward. Mine uh, rocks forward just the tiniest bit when it's empty, as you can see here, but it's nothing like the 1.0 version. And once I get this packed up, it stands fully erect. Just something about it being empty makes the top part cave over the slightest bit but it stands great on its own and it stands even better when it's full. Here is the Jujube Forever Backpack and I gotta say one of my favorite things about this bag is how well it stands. Just like the Jujube Be Right Back, it is prone to getting top heavy and I will talk about the internal structure more in a minute, but one of the things that can make this top heavy is if you have a laptop in this slip pocket and you have things packed up in these top pockets here, it can cause the bag to start rocking forward, but overall it stands pretty well. Lastly, here is the 12 Little Companion, and I will say I have to give credit to this bag. For being as lightweight as it is and being fully fabric, you would think this bag would just collapse in on itself when it's empty, but it holds its shape really well. Again, this is a completely empty backpack and it stands just fine on its own. I have not personally found it to be top heavy or to tip over. Um, but that may just be the way that I pack. I have a feeling this would be a bag that would be easy to tip over when it's full, but I've never had that problem, so I leave that to you to kind of figure out for yourself. Next, I'm gonna talk about internal structure. Now, I'm not gonna be packing any of these bags because like I said, this is just going to get way too intense and way too long, but I do wanna show you just some of the features of the inside and outside of each bag. So as I mentioned earlier, the Itsy Ritzy Boss does have one external bottle pocket as well as one insulated snack pocket. You have two magnetic closure pockets here on the front, which are great for just tossing things inside of. Like if you have mommy things like your phone and your keys, these are great, however they are a little small. But the upside is that you have a huge, huge slip pocket right here on the front of the bag where I toss anything that comes into my hands while I'm out that I just need to stash somewhere. You also have a little tech pocket up here on the top of the bag, which I don't know, maybe it would fit a camera. I tend to put my keys in there though because it's just for really quick access. And then you have a very long zip pocket here across the back. That's where the change pad goes, but you can also fit books and little activities back there as well. Moving on to the inside of the bag. You have one long zip pocket that goes all the way across the back of the bag and only goes down to about the end of my palm. So it's not very deep, but it is very, very wide. You have two very big slip pockets here attached to the back of the bag. These two pockets can hold either two Jujube medium set pieces in each pocket or one Jujube large set piece. What I think is absolutely the most genius thing about this bag is that you do have um, three upper pockets. You have two mesh pockets up here in the top that are very skinny and you have one really wide slip pocket over here on the top so that you can really take advantage of all that space in the top of the diaper bag. As I mentioned before, you also have a drawstring pocket here where you can put bottles or water bottles and things like that. And another great thing about this bag is that it comes with a mesh cargo net here, which kind of helps keep all of your stuff from just tipping right out of the bag when you open it. And I think that is fantastic. And lastly, you have two zipper pockets surrounded by mesh here on the front of the bag. The GGB Be Right Back is a little bit smaller than the Boss, in my opinion. You do have two external bottle pockets as well as a long zip pocket here on the back 
For the change pad, you also have a very wide zipper pocket all the way across the top. This is a great place for putting sunscreen, keys, phone, mommy things that you just don't want to have in your hands. Um, I actually find this to be one of the most useful pockets on Be Right Back. Now, you cannot beat Jujube for its mommy pocket. It's just one of the best places for putting your mommy things. You have on the front just a really skinny slip pocket that goes almost halfway up my arm. So that's a pretty deep pocket. And then you also have this really smartly designed mommy pocket here with a sunglass pocket, a little slip pocket here, a large mesh pocket that goes all the way across the bottom, and a key leash for attaching your keys. And there's also tons of space in the front part of the mommy pocket, again, for throwing extra little things that might be in your hands. There's another zip pocket here, which is technically the tech pocket. It's a great place for putting your phone because it is felt lined. I also like to put my sunglasses in there sometimes as well. Now, as much as I love the external structure of the Be Right Back, I'm not the biggest fan of its internal structure. It does have this really nice elastic section right here, which is great for putting a wipes pouch so that you can get to your wipes really fast. It's also a great place to put changes of clothes and things like that. And again, it does help take up some of this space at the top that often can be left unused. But then really the only internal structure here is this one mesh pocket here, as well as a really long wardrobe pocket here on the front flap. Now I will say that I think this wardrobe pocket is really functional and useful. But as you can see, there's just not a lot of stuff here to help you organize your bag. And that's why I feel like with the Be Right bag in particular, you have to be committed to pouch packing if you really want to make this bag feel organized. The GGB Forever backpack has two bottle pockets like I showed you earlier. But as I mentioned, I don't find these to be overly useful bottle pockets, but you can use them for other things for sure. You have a small bucket style pocket here on the front just for throwing quick grab things, but there's no internal structure in there at all. It's just a cavernous pit. You have a very long zip pocket here on the front, which is again felt lined. So this is kind of like a tech pocket. But one thing that I don't like just from an aesthetic perspective is that often when I put my phone in here, you can see the outline of the phone and it bothers me a little bit. Not that it changes the function of the bag in any way, but it's just something that gets under my skin. Again, you do have a long zip pocket here in the back where the change pad goes, and that's pretty much it for the outside of the bag. Now, I'm a big fan of the internal structure of this bag. Hands down, I think it's very, very smartly designed, even though I don't like many of the other features of the bag. First of all, it's just big and deep and cavernous. You can see everything down in there, which I love. You have two slip pockets here on the back side, which is a little bit hard to show you, but diapers fit really nicely in there. Wipes pouches fit nice. Um, you can get medium set pieces. It's just, and if you're not pouch packing, you can just toss stuff in there, which is great. You also have a really long slip pocket back here, which is great for tossing books or a laptop. On either side of the bag, you have two drawback of this bag, the flap. So on either side of the bag, you do have two elastic pockets, and I find these to be really, really helpful, actually. You might be asking yourself, what can you do with four tiny pockets? And I'm here to tell you a lot. Butt paste fits nicely in there, medical gear, band-aids, supplies, things like that. They just fit really, really nice. And the last bit of internal structure is here on the bottom front. Okay, right here. <laughs> this bag is really hard to show you what the inside looks like. You have one final slip pocket right here, which is great for tossing other little quick grab things. I would say that if you are not a pouch packer, you would really like this bag because there's just so much internal organization. The 12 Little On The Go is another one of my favorites. In fact, all of the 12 Little Bags are fantastic for internal organization. This one and the Companion, which I'll show you in a minute, are laid out very, very similarly. Again, two bottle pockets on the outside. You have a very scant mommy pocket here. And what I mean by that is it's already very skinny and it just gets skinnier as the main part of your bag gets packed up. So this is a great place to put a wallet and a phone, um, other little small things like band-aids or a pill case, but you don't get the kind of like big mommy pocket that you might get on the Jujubee Be Right Back and other bags like that one. One of the really clever things about the 12 Little On The Go is this extra storage space back here. This is big enough to hold a leap pad, a laptop, books, changes of clothes, anything that you might not be grabbing for often when you're getting into your diaper bag that you want kind of out of the way, but that you want to have quick access to goes really, really great right here. 
And the last piece of um, structure on this bag is this back zipper pocket. There's actually two zippers here, one on the bottom and one that I just opened up right here. You can leave the bottom zipper shut and this just becomes an extra pocket for your diaper bag, or you can unzip the bottom zipper and this becomes a way for you to put your bag over the roller bar handles of your luggage. So if you're going through an airport or taking a train or something like that, you can actually put this bag on your luggage and not have to carry it on your back. Another thing that I love about this bag is that they change how far down the zippers go. Um, this bag actually feels like a gusseted backpack. And if you don't know what gussets are, they're basically little pieces of fabric that sit right here that stop the bag from flopping all the way open. So whereas the Itsy Ritzy Boss and the Jujube Be Right Back do not have gussets and they will flop all the way open and sometimes your things can fall out, that does not happen with this bag because you have a zipper that stops right here. You can still get your bag open nice and full, but things aren't gonna tip out. So on this bag, you have two slip pockets here on the front. This is where I love putting diapers and wipes because they fit great in there. You have a mesh slip pocket right here. Just like the Itsy Ritzy Boss, you do have two little pockets up here at the top for storing smaller items and really helping you use up that space in the top of the bag. And finally, you have a big zipper pocket up here as well. This is the 12 Little Companion backpack. Again, it's laid out very similarly to the On The Go. You do have this really cool magnetic closure here on the front where you can leave this magnet shut and you have two little pockets, or you can pry it open and put something wide and long in there like a wallet, and it's, it becomes one big pocket. I do really like the mommy pocket on this bag simply because it's actually really, really spacious. You can poof this out quite a bit and get lots of things in there. You can toss things in there throughout your day that you don't wanna have in your hands, and it doesn't tend to fill up really fast. You also have another zipper pocket here on the front, which goes right about to the top of my wrist. And lastly, you have one zipper pocket at the bottom. Now this is not the same zipper pocket as you have on the On The Go, which has two zippers, so you can put it over your uh, handles of your luggage. This is just one pocket on the back and this is where I love to put changes of clothes and wet bags and things like that so that they're out of the way but really easy to access when I need them. On to the inside of the bag, we have one long zipper pocket here that goes down again right to the top of my wrist. Just like the on the go, we have two slip pockets here on the front. One is slightly bigger. It holds about the size of a large set piece by Jujube and you have one skinny one that holds about the size of a medium set piece. Then you have two elastic pockets here on the back, and that is pretty much all of your internal structure on the inside of this bag. Now, while I have this bag out, um, another question was, do all the bags have D-rings? All of the bags that I've shown you today have their own D-rings except for the Companion. This is the only bag that does not have D-rings on it, so you cannot hang it from your stroller. Thank you.